probably should be mindful of what our dogs bring in the house. Some things they should bring in the house, like toys that they have that are their favorites, or there's some things that they shouldn't bring in the house, like sticks or anything broken that you need, like gardening hose. <laughs> Pardon me while I take a sip of my coffee, but hi everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes. And today in this video, I'm gonna do a coffee and funny story time. And today's coffee and funny story time is going to be the time that my, um, Dog Pearl tried to bring a stick in the house and a big giant stick in the house and me and my friends had to go run. In, I mean, let's just rewind that. My friends and I had to go stop her from bringing, um, from bringing, um, the stick in the house. How? So, <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, um, so this is a story about how Pearl picked up this giant stick and then she ran in the house, tried to get in the house with the giant stick and me and my, and let's try that again. My friends and I had to go and stop her from bringing the stick in the house. So this is a story just to let you guys know, it's always good to stop your dogs from bringing certain things in the house that you don't want in the house. And this is kind of funny because you'll end up going to chase your dog around like your backyard or wherever you're going and yada, yada, yada. And it is quite funny. So this was kind of like a funny like story about how we were chasing one of my dogs around the backyard and trying to get something from her that she shouldn't be bringing in the house. So I'm going to get started and I hope you guys like this story. Excuse me while I take a sip of my coffee. So this all started almost about, this all started about eight years ago. It was my birthday and I had a lot, of, a big crowd of people over. It was two of my friends, uh, it was three of my friends, my best friend Josie, who you guys all know in my YouTube channel, um, another friend I had, and had, and they were two friends, uh, another friend I have, um, one of my friends from elementary through high school that I've known for years, and a huge crowd of my family over, and it was my birthday, and we were all having dinner, we were having, I think steak and an appetizer of pizza bites and we were all hanging out having a good time and we were having like brownie ice cream bars and ours which are brownies made from scratch which is ice cream on top and chopped with chocolate ganache and if you guys would love to see that recipe it's by Laura Vitale and there's a YouTube video on it which I'll link down below if you didn't see that and um there also is a written recipe on her website. If you want to see that one as well, that'll also be linked in the description box down below. And I'm not sponsored by Laura in the Kitchen, nor am I being paid by Laura in the Kitchen to talk about the recipe. All opinions are my own. So anyway, let's focus, Mina. So um, we had my family over. We were all having a good time. We were having dinner, eating appetizers, steak, and whatever we had that night. And we were all just hanging out, having fun, and talking, and being all sociable and stuff and having a great time. And then a couple, about two or three hours later, my family leaves and then my friends want to stay over for a little bit. And we all decided to hang out in the backyard. So I'm talking to my friends and we're having a chit chat, being all girls and stuff. And we are just hanging out and then we're hanging out in the backyard making s'mores. Then all of a sudden, Pearl picks up this giant stick and starts to try to go in the house with it. And she tries to go through our dog door with it. With it, and she can't even get through it. And my mom makes me and my friends go up to the deck to go get the stick from Pearl. So we run, so my friends and I run up to the stairs and then we try to get Pearl, prevent Pearl from getting in the house through the dog door with the stick. So we had to go chase her um, up and we had to go chase her. And then she ended up somehow getting through the house with the stick, which was not a good thing. So we ended up opening the door, chasing her and then trying to get the stick from her. And it was kind of funny. Good thing at that time we didn't have any, um, 
good thing at that time we didn't have anything valuable that she could probably break with a stick. Um, so we kind of like were running around the house chasing her and it was actually pretty funny because we just did not expect Pearl to like run around the house with a giant stick. So eventually, um, um, one of my friends is able to get a hold of her and so I yanked the stick out of Pearl's mouth and then I um, ran out out through the front door, close it, so then Pearl doesn't escape and chase the stick, and then I just throw it in the cr in the creek next to my house. And we were just, uh, it was just like crazy trying to get per the stick away from Pearl. If you don't know my dog Pearl, she used to love chasing sticks. She has a difficult time letting go of them and everything, but it just happens. So anyway, um, once I did that, I run back inside the house, and then Pearl decides to go back in the backyard and try to get more sticks to bring in the house. So me and my friends end up chasing her. I mean, my friends and I end up chasing her. I'm sorry. I keep rewinding. I keep having to correct myself on that. Um, anyway, um, we just start running around chasing her and it is kind of funny. And then my couple minutes later, my friend's mom comes over to pick her and my other friend up. And um, we finally are done chasing Pearl. And then Pearl finally drops the stick. And... Um, Sorry, that was my tablet. But anyway, we were telling them, telling my friend's mom the funny story and she starts cracking up because she finds it super hilarious that Pearl tried to bring a stick in the house and how we were chasing her around the house. And it was just a really funny story. And my mom was laughing as well too because she found it pretty hilarious. And we just didn't expect that we had to chase my dog to get a stick from her. So the moral of the story is if you have something, if your dog has something you don't want them to bring in the house, you have to try your best to get it from them. It is quite difficult because some dogs have a really strong grip and they can't let go, but you have to do your best to try to get the item away from them because you don't want them bringing it in the house because it may be messy, it may ruin your furniture. So just try your best to get it away from it, even if you have to chase your dog around your backyard. It is just hilarious, so just keep in mind that you got to take things from your dog so then they, if you don't want them to go in the house with it and everything. So as you don't want them to get used to bringing things in your house that you don't want in your house. Like maybe if it's like a leaf or maybe some mud or maybe some dog, dog business or whatever. Just keep in mind that when you have a dog, you got to make sure they don't bring things in the house that you don't want. Want. Even if you have to chase them to get the thing you don't want in the house that they have in their mouths to bring in. So just do your best and try your best not to fight with your dog. Dog, but do your best to get the item that you don't want in your house that they pick up to go into your house. So that was the funny story about how my friends and I had to chase Pearl girl around the backyard and um, into the house to get a stick from her. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it made you laugh. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!